in this example, given f at 2 equals 4, f prime at 2 equals 1, we're going to find the value of h prime at 2 based on the function below. The function h of x is given as the third power of the function f. We have the power 3 of the function. So we're going to apply the general power rule. I'm going to put a note over here. General power rule where inside here as a function g and raised to the power r, r equals 3. So the general power rule, when you find the derivative of the function g, g of x raised to the power r, the derivative is r times the g of x quantity to the power r minus 1 and multiplied by g prime. In this case, the g is the f the function f. Therefore, since the gx is f of x, the g prime is going to be f prime of x. Now back to the main problem. Our goal is to find the h prime at 2. h prime at 2 is the h prime of the x and then compute it when x equals 2. To find the h prime, we use the general power rule. The power r r is 3 times the function g, in this case is a function f, raised to the power 3 minus 1, and multiplied by the derivative of the function, which is the function f. And we evaluate at x equals 2. So simplify the, the, the term that we, um, that we get from applying the rule. We have 3 times the quantity of the function f, raised to the power 2nd, and then multiply by a prime at x, where x equals 2. Replace x with the 2. We have 3 times the f at 2 quantity power 2 times the f prime at 2. And when we look at the given information, the f at 2 is 4. So in here is 4. <clears throat> f prime at 2 is 1. Then we get 3 times the number 4 raised to the power 2nd and multiply by 1. So 3 times 16 times 1 turns out to be 48 as a result for this problem.